In today's fast-paced and interconnected world, our homes often serve as our sanctuaries, spaces where we seek comfort, solace, and positive energy. Dolores Cannon, a renowned author and regression therapist, provides intriguing insights into creating environments that foster well-being, both physically and spiritually. Here are eight things she suggests removing from your house right now, accompanied by detailed explanations for each. Clutter and Excessive Possessions Dolores Cannon emphasizes the significance of decluttering as a transformative practice. Physical clutter can act as a hindrance to mental clarity and obstruct the natural flow of energy within your living space. A clutter-free environment promotes a sense of order and allows for a more efficient energy exchange. Removing unnecessary items not only creates physical space but also contributes to a lighter, more positive atmosphere. Cannon suggests starting small, tackling one area at a time, and being mindful of the emotional attachment to possessions during the decluttering process. Negative or uninspiring artwork. Art has the power to influence our emotions and shape the ambience of a space. Dolores Cannon advises the removal of artwork or decor that evokes negative feelings or lacks inspiration. Surrounding yourself with images that uplift, inspire, and resonate positively can have a profound impact on your mental and emotional well-being. Consider curating a collection of art that brings joy and serves as a reflection of your aspirations, creating an environment that supports your personal growth and positive energy flow. Broken or unused items Unused or broken items in your home can accumulate stagnant energy and hinder the natural flow of positivity. Dolores Cannon encourages individuals to assess their belongings and let go of items that no longer serve a purpose. Repair what can be fixed, and donate or discard items that have lost their functionality. By doing so, you allow fresh energy to circulate freely, promoting a sense of renewal and vitality within your living space. Old Electronics and Wi-Fi Devices Our modern reliance on technology brings with it electromagnetic fields and Wi-Fi signals that may impact the energetic balance of our homes. Dolores Cannon suggests removing old electronics and minimizing the use of Wi-Fi devices, especially in areas meant for rest, such as the bedroom. This recommendation aligns with the idea of creating an environment that supports a natural energy flow, fostering a more peaceful and rejuvenating atmosphere within the home. Toxic Cleaning Products Canon emphasizes the importance of maintaining a clean and toxin-free home. Traditional cleaning products often contain harmful chemicals that can impact indoor air quality and overall well-being. Consider replacing toxic cleaning products with natural alternatives to create a healthier living environment. This shift not only benefits your physical health but also aligns with the idea of promoting positive energy within your home. These five recommendations represent the first half of Dolores Cannon's insightful suggestions for creating a harmonious living space. The removal of clutter, negative influences, and toxic elements sets the stage for a transformative journey towards a more positive and vibrant home. Stay tuned for the next part where we delve into the remaining three items on Canon's list, exploring how these changes can contribute to a holistic approach to well-being within your living space. Let's continue exploring the remaining three items on Dolores Cannon's list of things to remove from your house for a more positive and harmonious living space. Unwanted Gifts or Souvenirs Dolores Cannon advises against holding on to items that don't align with your energy or bring you joy. Unwanted gifts or souvenirs that carry negative associations can accumulate stagnant energy. Rather than keeping these items out of obligation, consider donating or re-gifting them. Surround yourself with possessions that hold positive energy and personal significance. By consciously curating your living space, you create an environment that supports your well-being and reinforces positive energy flow. Negative Influences our living spaces are not only physical environments but also extensions of our emotional and social realms. Dolores Cannon highlights the importance of being mindful of the people and influences allowed into your home. 
Negative relationships or toxic influences can impact the energetic balance of your living space. It's crucial to create boundaries and foster an environment that aligns with your values and supports your overall well-being. By removing negative influences, you pave the way for a more positive and uplifting atmosphere within your home. Unused or uncomfortable furniture. Furniture plays a significant role in the energy flow of a space. Dolores Cannon suggests removing unused or uncomfortable furniture that disrupts the natural balance. Consider the layout of your rooms and whether the arrangement promotes a harmonious flow of energy. Creating a comfortable and functional space enhances the overall atmosphere of your home. By letting go of furniture that no longer serves a purpose, you make room for positive energy to circulate freely, contributing to a more balanced and inviting living environment. Dolores Cannon's insights provide a holistic approach to cultivating a harmonious living space. By removing clutter, negative influences, and items that carry stagnant energy, you create room for positivity, renewal, and personal growth. The second half of her recommendations emphasizes the importance of curating your surroundings consciously, from the art on your walls to the people you welcome into your home. By implementing these changes, you embark on a transformative journey toward a more vibrant, positive, and energetically balanced living space. Remember, the process of creating a harmonious home is personal and ongoing. Regularly reassessing your living space and making intentional choices about what to keep or remove can contribute to a continual sense of renewal and well-being. As you embrace these recommendations, you invite positive energy and a sense of balance into the heart of your home. Let's delve deeper into the importance of creating a positive living environment, drawing on Dolores Cannon's insights and the remaining points from her list. Balancing Ambition with Self-Care Dolores Cannon's emphasis on removing the excesses of ambition aligns with the idea that our homes should be sanctuaries that promote holistic well-being. Balancing ambition with self-care is crucial for fostering a healthy living space. Ambition, while a powerful driving force, can sometimes lead to neglecting one's personal needs. Cannon suggests creating a space that supports both professional success and personal fulfillment, emphasizing the importance of nurturing oneself amid life's ambitions. This can involve creating dedicated spaces for relaxation, meditation, or self-reflection within your home. Cultivating Emotional Connections Cannon's insight about Aquarius encourages individuals to cultivate emotional connections while maintaining independence. In the context of our homes, this emphasizes the importance of creating spaces that foster emotional bonds with family, friends, and oneself. Consider arranging your home in a way that encourages shared experiences and meaningful connections. Designate areas for open communication, bonding activities, and personal reflection. By consciously curating spaces that support emotional well-being, you contribute to a warm and inviting home environment. Harnessing Transformative Energy Scorpio's association with intensity and transformation suggests the removal of stagnant energy and embracing the power of renewal within our homes. Canon encourages letting go of what no longer serves us, akin to Scorpio's transformative energy. This involves regularly assessing your living space, identifying elements that hinder positive energy flow, and allowing for transformative changes. By being open to change and willing to release attachments to items or habits, you invite a rejuvenating energy into your home. Dolores Cannon's insights provide a holistic perspective on creating a harmonious living space that supports overall well-being. As we've explored each point in detail, it becomes evident that her recommendations extend beyond mere physical decluttering. They encourage a mindful and intentional approach to our living environments, emphasizing the importance of emotional connections, self-care, and transformative energy. By incorporating these principles into your home, you not only create a more aesthetically pleasing space but also cultivate an atmosphere that nurtures your physical, emotional, and spiritual health. The journey to a harmonious living space is ongoing, requiring periodic reassessment and intentional choices. 
As you implement these insights, you contribute to a home that reflects positivity, balance, and the potential for personal growth. Let's continue exploring the remaining points inspired by Dolores Cannon's insights and how they contribute to fostering a harmonious and positive living space. Creating Positive Connections Libra's association with balance and harmony underscores the importance of fostering positive connections within your home. Dolores Cannon suggests removing negative influences, emphasizing the need for a supportive social environment. Actively create spaces in your home that encourage positive interactions, communication, and shared experiences. Consider hosting gatherings or activities that promote harmony and strengthen your connections with loved ones. By intentionally shaping your living space, you contribute to a positive and uplifting atmosphere. Embracing Imperfections Virgo's meticulous nature often leads to a pursuit of perfection. However, Dolores Cannon advises against clinging to an idealized vision of flawlessness. Embracing imperfections, whether in yourself or your living space, can be liberating. Cannon's insight encourages a shift in perspective, allowing for a more compassionate approach to oneself and the items within your home. Rather than striving for an unattainable standard, acknowledge and appreciate the unique character that imperfections bring to your living space. Cultivating Patience and Focus Sagittarius' association with optimism and adventure aligns with Dolores Cannon's guidance to cultivate patience and focus. Living spaces are not transformed overnight, and intentional changes require time and effort. By embracing a patient and focused mindset, you can make deliberate choices that contribute to a harmonious home environment. Set realistic goals, break down larger tasks, and celebrate the progress you make along the way. This approach allows for a more sustainable and fulfilling transformation of your living space. Balancing Attention and Humility Leo's association with confidence and flair for the dramatic resonates with Dolores Cannon's advice to balance attention with humility. While creating a positive living space, it's essential to strike a balance between expressing your unique style and fostering a humble environment. Ensure that the attention placed on decor or personal achievements doesn't overshadow the welcoming and inclusive atmosphere of your home. By balancing attention with humility, you create a space that reflects both your individuality and your openness to others. In summary, Dolores Cannon's insights guide us towards a holistic and intentional approach to creating a harmonious living space. Each point encourages us to consider the emotional, social, and energetic aspects of our homes. By implementing these suggestions, you contribute to an environment that not only reflects your personal style but also supports your overall well-being. Remember that the process of transforming your living space is a journey, and each intentional choice brings you closer to a home that resonates with positivity, balance, and the potential for continual growth.